All right, everyone. So I just wanted to put this out there as an important note, a public service announcement, I guess you could say, about a very important freebie that we're going to be getting with this giant dev blog that Amazon Smilegate ended up posting, addressing a lot of the concerns with the Argos update, the pacing of the game, all that sort of stuff that I actually ended up talking about in a video from a bit ago. Um, very importantly, one of the freebies that we're going to get here really drew my attention, and I want to make sure to let you guys know not to make a very, very big mistake here and use this item right away. Now, the item that I'm talking about is this legendary card pack selection chest. And at first glance, when I read this, my mind just thought that it was a regular legendary card pack, like one of these right here that we got through, I think, the uh, Grand Prix event. This is not the same item, okay? This item, it's still good, don't get me wrong, but this gives you a random legendary card, so you can end up opening this when you want to. There's really no problem opening it up right away. But the legendary card selector chest that we actually end up getting from these rewards is significantly more valuable because it actually lets you pick a legendary card, which is absolutely huge. And if you think about it, you might understand a little bit why, but it's a, it's a big deal. This is a very, very big item. And I'll give you guys my suggestion here on what I think you should try to save it for. But even if you don't save it for this in particular, you definitely don't just want to pick a couple of random legendary cards. You really want to do some research. You really want to pick very carefully because this is a big, big item. So my personal suggestion for using these legendary card pack selector chests is getting the last couple of cards that you're going to need for the Light of Salvation set. And I'll just show you guys the Light of Salvation here. If we go to the card catalog and we go to Light of Salvation here, this is basically going to be like the big endgame set that you're really going to be looking for when it comes to cards. Now, at first glance here, this is something that most people are probably an eternity away from being able to complete or even think about Awakening for the Awakening bonus. But this is kind of like in the back of your head, you want to be hoping to work on this and hopefully trying to acquire more and more cards for this to be able to end up completing it. As you can see, it requires all legendary cards. A lot of these are uh, tricky. It's, it's definitely, there's a reason why it's the end game set. It's both incredibly, incredibly good, but it's also incredibly, incredibly difficult to end up completing because it's all legendaries here. And so one particular use for this legendary card selector chest, and we get two of them as well, is once you've actually gotten like five of the cards for the Light of Salvation, you can end up using the selector chest to then end up getting the last two cards that you need for the Light of Salvation to give you the complete set bonus. Um, or you can end up using it, uh, really do some research as you actually work on this in the future on how you end up getting these cards and how difficult they're going to be because uh, you don't want to end up wasting that card selector chest on legendary cards that are no good, that are not going to be a big benefit to you endgame, and it, it's a big deal. Like, I, I recommend it for this, but still, this is not something that you just want to immediately rip open and just kind of toss as a back thought in your head. It's just not a big deal. This is probably one of the biggest, best, most valuable freebies that they have given us. Not cosmetic, not mount or pet related, just like actual really, really good item. So um, I know I put a lot of emphasis on it, but it really, it really is that important. So I wanted to turn this into a little public service announcement video, and that's basically going to be it. So if you guys enjoyed, consider leaving a quick like, consider subscribing to the channel, and feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash salt, where I'll be streaming Lost Ark as well as other games. Thanks again, everyone. Take care, and until next time.